New video from Pennsylvania shows a mechanic rushing to stop a car crash. Come over, watch the security camera footage. Look at him. The car is rolling back, and he's trying to push it out of the way, trying to single-handedly stop that SUV from rolling into another car. Look at that. Can you see it? That's a hammer inside a windshield. So normally when we see troopers posting on Facebook right. and something's hammered, we're talking about someone being drunk and driving. Not the case this time. Yeah, Trooper Todd shared these pictures last night of a truck. I got hammered, or maybe nailed. Maybe a better way. <laughs> nailed of, by the hammer. <laughs> nailed by the hammer. Oh. Uh, amazing. I mean, so another truck hit it. It was sitting on the road. Yeah. Truck hit it, spun up projectile. I mean, it's like coming out from a gun underneath I those know. tires. And I laugh and we make jokes about yeah. this, but that is so terrifying. Yeah. It's like when those log trucks are in front of you. Yeah. I always, I always imagine it like, ugh. Luckily, though, nobody scary. was hurt, Mark, but still pretty scary. The Better Business Bureau wants, you know, about a scam making rounds. Not Scott, not Pam. Almost there. There we are. Okay, so the Better Business Bureau wants you to know about a scam making rounds. You looked good, though, Scott, in that shot. We're sharing their warning with you so you don't fall for it. Hey, if you're just about to get out the door, hey, don't worry. Come watch this. You can be late. <laughs> Most Americans usually are. We have some interesting okay. excuses. Ours is usually we oversleep or don't hear yeah, our alarm. Common. Uh, last week, I left some... I don't have a toaster. I just okay. toast, toast in my oven, uh -oh. and I forgot about it, and I was driving to work, and I'm like, oh... I gotta go home. So the bread still in there. It toasting. was still in there. It was very, very That's charred scary. at that point. Meryl, a what about toasted. you? At least it didn't start a fire. There we go. <laughs> exactly. Could have been you the worst of it. Oh well, like the last few days, stayed up too late watching the Australian Open. That'll do it. I tell you? I've been trapped in my garage before, <laughs> once for power outage and once for a spring breaking, and so I had that happened last year. Sorry, can't it's, get to it's work. It's difficult, but Meryl, yeah. nobody can blame the weather for being late today. Breaking news in Philadelphia. You gotta come to your screen and take a look at this. This is imagine being the homeowners there and walking out to find your truck dangling into a huge sinkhole. The trees are in there too. Hard to estimate how big that thing is, but my goodness, again, this is in somebody's front yard outside Philadelphia. I wonder whose property line is affected there. Scott, Mark, you guys, I hope you're looking at this. This is unbelievable. Again, a huge sinkhole. This is a live look right now in the Philadelphia area. That truck barely hanging on. It could be the tree, like Scott was thinking. It could be the tree that's holding it up. We'll continue to follow this one for you, bring you more updates as soon as we get any information. That's unbelievable. Yeah. The Better Business Bureau wants you to know about a scam that's making the rounds. We're sharing their warning with you so you don't fall for it. The BBB says you got to look out for ads from a car dealership. It's called Ray Dixon Motors. You could also see ads for Randy Dixon Motors. Don't fall for them. The sites are fake. Two people didn't realize it was a scam, though, and they fell for it. Both spending more than $15,000, and neither one got a car. This scam might look convincing because there's an address on the website. It's from Kansas, but there's not a car dealership at that address. It's a Park City Aerospace Company. The state of Kansas also does not have a listing for Ray Dixon Motors. The two victims paid for the car by wire transfer. Those have been traced to a bank in Nigeria. Target says it has heard from those of you who want greener products in your home, so the company is enacting a new policy pushing manufacturers to list all of the ingredients in their products, everything from perfumes to household cleaners. The policy also includes the removal of certain chemicals like flame retardants from children's pajamas. Walmart is on it too. Last year it moved uh, toward banning eight chemical groups in the products it sells. But first, we got to meet Charlie here from the Kansas Humane Society. We'll learn more about this little black lab mix when we come back.